All right, take a look here. This is Bruce Feldman Long. Oh, I'm sorry, I jumped ahead. This is your poll answers. All right, so Summit wins, and it's a tie between Rick Barnes and Tony Vitello. Interesting. Followed by... Not uh, anymore. <laughs> uh, there he goes, Tony Vitello back in the lead. Uh, <laughs> Bruce Pearl, the two football coaches are last, including one who won a national championship in Philip Fulmer, who I think the athletic, the athletic director thing, I think, hurt his legacy. But Josh Heupel... Only 8% when he's turned this program around. I find that fascinating. And Barnes is just tied again. School. Yeah. <laughs> Question mark. Yeah, that's interesting. All right. Uh, now let's take a look at the athletics poll. All right. Uh, you're not going to be able to read that, but if you see the number 12, that's Memphis. Bruce Feldman, longtime college football writer, uh, put out his predictions for the, uh, the playoff this year, and he's got Memphis as the top group of five team, which would put them in the playoff. You'll notice there is no Tennessee in there. So my question for the panel here, and by the way, Memphis just landed a uh, four-star quarterback yesterday. They went 10-3 and three last year. So that Memphis train, it's rolling. But my question to you guys is, how much of an absolute freakout is there here if Memphis makes a playoff before Tennessee does? You want to talk about Heupel's number being 8%. Where, where, is, down. where is Tennessee? Right, if Tennessee was the 12th ranked team and get bumped for the group of five team and it's Memphis, then it's an incredible panic. But if Tennessee is 16th with Nico, you're 9-3, and three, you look pretty good. I don't know Future that anybody... Future looks like you're going to be in a yeah, playoff. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can also just rationalize it to yourself that, well, they got in because they were at the group of five team. What, what could they do in the SEC? Right. I'm just thinking all the things my dad would have said to me back when, you know what I mean? Like, he would have said those kinds of things. So, I, I don't think it will be the end of the world. I will tell you, I think, I don't know what Bruce is looking at if he thinks Mario Cristobal is getting the team into the okay. college we football don't, don't playoff. So, <laughs> yeah, if, uh, if it's the scenario where Tennessee has a, a, a solid season, they just, they don't, they go 9-3, and three, they don't make it. And Memphis jumps in, then it would be some bitter rationalization of what's happened here. If Tennessee gets bumped for Memphis, then it's burning rage. And I mean that literally furniture yes. burns again. Yes. Burning <laughs> mattresses. But uh, there would also, there would be for sure pressure 2025. Oh. You better be making the playoff. Yeah, it has nothing to do with Heupel. He could be, you know, I think he's probably going to go 9-3 and three this year. Nico, I think they're going to look better at the end of the year than they do at the start of the year. You're setting it for 2025. But if Memphis makes the playoff and you don't, I think the pressure ramps up on Heupel through no fault of his own. My opinion. I think it'd be a freak out like Greg Schiano around here. If if Tennessee it gets <laughs> That's a freak out. by Memphis. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think they would be – well, you know, everybody has to be outraged nowadays over something. That's true. Right? Yeah. So they would pick this one. But, yeah. And I could see Memphis getting in because when you look at it, they look to be perhaps the best group of five team out there. Yeah. they got a quarterback back, a really good receiver. they got a running back transfer from South Carolina. They have a pretty good-looking team. So I could actually see them getting there. But if it's at the expense of Tennessee, look out. Level of freak out? Uh, I, I think it's there because, like Jimmy said, people are freaking out about any and everything they can. Uh, Memphis adds to it. I, I, I think if James Madison was to get that spot in the playoff, people were like, what are we doing here? Like, you know, what, what's going on? And it could very well be uh, yeah, I think someone Memphis carries like different. That. Yeah, but, but I think Memphis carries a different I'm not level say, of worry. Around. Yeah, I'm not saying it's the same. Yeah. But it, it would add with Memphis. But I think people would be upset. Either way, if so, a group of five that's like ranked 40 or something gets in and Tennessee doesn't, well, you're, you're going to be upset about that. Anyway. What if USF gets in and Tennessee is oh, with not Alex in? Alex <laughs> That, I think, would cause a bigger freak out than even Memphis because I think most people look at Memphis as the state of Mississippi anyway. Well, I think the key is we talked about everybody wants to be, Jimmy said everybody wants to be outraged. I think that's it. I think you'll have people that will say, see, it was Golish instead of Hypo. We kept the wrong guy. Yeah. I think there are people who want to go there. They're just, oh, please, give me something to go crazy with. So my, my thumbs, we've got to get on Twitter or X or whatever the hell it is. Uh, there are people just dying for something. So, yeah, I think if Memphis got it, freakout level is huge. I think if USF got it, that's a great point. Freakout level is big. Yeah. Baseball team needs to win the next two days. <laughs> Speaking of that, we're only about two hours until game time. Right at two hours, as a matter of fact, right here on Channel 6, you can watch the Vols take on Texas A&M in a do-or-die game. And at 1.30, Reese Van Hafton and his team out there in Omaha will be bringing you a preview of that game. But when we come back, would the 85-man football roster limits lead to nightmare situations? Lane Kiffin thinks so, but is this just another case, as we've seen down through the ages, of coaches crying when they really don't need to cry? We'll discuss. Come on back. <laughs> 